Hi again. Um, and so the question right now is how old was I when I realized or came to that I had a cleft lip and palate and uvula and ear and stuff like that. But mostly lip. Um, is I'll start off on this is that your first memory shouldn't always ever be that realizing that you're different um, with your having a cleft lip. It should be about your family or something very interesting that's going to be your very first memory um, and something of the sorts like that. Not realizing that you are different or have a cleft lip. But, um, I do remember going to the orthodontist and seeing doctors, um, a bunch as a kid, and so that was normal to me, and, and people playing with my face a bunch, um, and so that's when it start, I, like, started coming to it is all the orthodontists and doctor visits and stuff like that, doctor visits, and, I mean, there were only ever so periodically of, you know, planning things out and, um, grappling when your body's changing and growing and taking molds so they can see which way everything's shifting and how to place things together to be like, well, this is how it was then, like this, but we're gonna do it like that now. But I was around, uh, five or six, um, when I came to you know, realizing that with all the appointments and stuff like that. But it wasn't, it didn't really sink in until I was like seven or eight. But I do remember uh, being like five or six, and I, I remember all those appointments. But um, some of my very first friends asking me about my cleft lip, and so that that's when it really started sinking in and stuff like that. And, and the more people you meet, the more friends and stuff that you make, or people on the, just passing by, asking you as a kid, of kids the same age, older folks already know. But and that's when it started, I found out when, or realized when I was five or six with all the appointments, but then it started sinking in when I was seven or eight. Um, and so, in seven or eight, started looking in the mirror a bunch, and started getting used to because your body's changing a whole bunch and happening from like five to eight your body changes a bunch and you're just growing like hell and scars don't really grow or do anything they stretch um but some of them my scar tissue is actually very uh thick and hard uh, vitamin E, I'll talk about that some other time, and the scar tissue, tissue and stuff like that. Um, but your body changes a lot, and so... I forgot where I was going with that. Your body changes a lot, and so I was looking in the mirror, um, accepting who I was, um, and who was on the other side of that, uh, looking back at me. Um, but um, I read some other people's posts about their kids and stuff of you know, accepting who they are and telling people all about it and their special scar. I was kind of hard on myself, but I will talk in another video of that. Um, and this is my cat, Alex, who came for the sign-off. <laughs> Alright, well, thanks for watching, and um, there's more videos coming, or answering questions. <laughs> Peace.